coach from Prairie Harum Bandu, Coach sir. David Singleton. What's going on? Uh, how you doing, man? Doing good, man. I'm finally get to play. It's been a couple weeks since we got to play. I uh, had some injuries, but happy to be back and uh, happy to be going. And you must be happy, though, about that game. Yeah. Uh, everybody hustling. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, I think, playing the right way. Yeah. So can yeah. you talk about, about uh, the scrimmage? I think it was good. Uh, we appreciate Borneo coming down. Uh, we needed a game. It's been a long time. And I think the good thing we saw was that our hard work is paying off. The way that we play is continuing. Um, the continuity means something. Me being here after two years, the boys are connected, the boys are together. Um, even our new pieces like Sandy coming in and, and not missing a beat. So uh, I can't wait till we get back healthy, um, but I'm very happy with the effort today. So how does this work? Everybody has a green light? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, we got, we got a lot of weapons. Uh, we definitely try to make sure that everybody touches the ball. That's a big thing here, ball movement, people movement. Um, so the lucky thing we have is we have a lot of people that are capable of making those plays and making those shots. So uh, it's, a, it's a good problem to have, and uh, I'll have to deal with it this year. That alley-oop by Pan oh, dude, was that something that you draw? <laughs> Actually, no, that's just them playing a play. We always talk about making the next play, and uh, and that's just Hans and Pandu having that connection for a long time, and uh, us working on those type of action, those type of movements. So uh, very proud of them, and uh, happy the boys were able to celebrate that, yeah. You guys are heading into the season as a defending champion. Yeah. Is it weird though, even though you guys are the defending champion, but it looks like you guys coming in as somewhat an underdog. You know, uh, I think we feel that way. I think that's the kind of the, the aura around the league right now is uh, some of the other teams are making some real big moves, some power moves, some uh, famous moves. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're going to just stick to what we do. So whether people like us or don't like us or believe that we're going to win or not, it's okay. Uh, we're just going to keep doing what we did and stick to our plan. And uh, I think ultimately that would be the that would be the defining factor for us. Do you feel less pressure though coming into the season knowing there's less expectation for you guys? Um, I wouldn't say that. I think mm -hmm. always as a champion you got to feel pressure. I think uh, our fan base knows we want to win. They expect us to win. And uh, we're always going to try to defend our championship and uphold that. So uh, we feel it. Um, it could be lessened, but we definitely feel it. And uh, we're going to go out there and do our best to repeat. And you lost? A big player, a key player in yeah. Reza, yeah. but you gain a couple new young players. Yeah. yeah. Um, how do you plan to work around losing a, a key player like Reza? Yeah, you know, um, whenever you lose a guy like that, he's an anchor of the team, he's an MVP player type of player in the finals. Um, it's a big low, it's a big blow, but to be honest, I think with the acquisitions that we made, uh, we're going to be able to not miss a beat. And I think uh, with our type of team culture, uh, our us mentality, uh, I think that we're going to be able to pick up the slack and be able to keep going. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. And I think the boys that are coming in, the new guys, are looking forward to showing us that we won't miss a beat. Big season coming for Indra. It looks good. So, man, he's, uh, <laughs> he's playing with a new energy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's playing inspired. Um, I think he's finally starting to get comfortable now with everything that's going on. And uh, he understands there's competition. And so uh, I think with that competition, he's rising to the level. So. Very proud of Indra and uh, hope we see big things. And you talked about Sandy yeah. earlier, but what do you expect for him though, to bring to this team? Shooting. <laughs> I mean, uh, you already know he's one of the greatest shooters in this country. Uh, he's had a history of champions, he has a history of shooting in this country, so we brought him in to be a higher gun, a higher sniper, um, and that's exactly it. And also the experience, also the understanding of what it means to win. Um, and I think he's going to help the young guys a lot. So uh, very proud of Sandy and uh, he's a very good piece to have. And you got Falcone and you got Calvin. Yes. Do you feel like this team got bigger? We did. And that's what I've been wanting to do yeah. here. Where we, we weren't able to do it last year, mm -hmm. but we finally got the size that we wanted uh, to help out at the rim uh, inside. And so I think uh, that's going to be another kind of opportunity for us to use that size and that height this season and uh, help us on defense as well. And what, what about Yuda? I can't live without man. asking you about Yuda, man. He's I feel like he's like reaching another level. He is. I said that since last season. Mm -hmm. I've said that even into the national team. And uh, you can see that he's just taking another step right now. Just with his presence, his confidence, he feels like he's supposed to be here. He feels like he's supposed to be one of the best players in the country. And uh, you can just see the way he steps on the court. He walks around. He moves around. And uh, the reason he's that way is because he works hard. He gives everything he has, and he dedicates himself to the game, so it's a good thing. Do you expect you guys to be more vocal, though? Yeah, man, that's a big thing. We talk about keys. 
of improvement next season. Mm -hmm. And that's one of his things, the leadership qualities. So he's got to be more vocal. He's got to get out of that. I'm just a quiet yeah. Euler, the sleeper guy. He's like, nah, man, you got to get in here and you got to communicate and talk. And uh, so far in the preseason, he's done a good job with that. I'm calling right now, MVP season. Hey, man, <laughs> I thought, you know what I mean? I thought it was close last year. I yeah. thought it could have been a toss up, to be honest. And I think he's motivated for it. So we'll see. We don't go for the personal awards. It happens naturally for us. But I think the way that he plays, he'll be in the picture. He'll be in the picture. I know you're probably excited about the new rules too, that you can sign your own imports. Absolutely. How much fun did you have? You know, I know we cannot talk about your imports here, uh, but just how much fun are you going through the process of choosing your imports? Yeah, you know, it's a beautiful thing. I think finally the league has gotten to a situation where, like all leagues in the world, you get to select who you want. Um, and you got away from the list. And so I think it's a, it's a real deal of us actually picking who we want. now. I'm very proud of who we had last year. Those two players were tremendous players. But this year, we really got to do our homework and pick the, the right guy for our team and our system. And I feel like uh, you're going to be able to see that. You're going to be able to see They're that. They're good. <laughs> Just go wait and see. Just wait and see. They're coming next week, right? They're going to be here soon. Very soon. Yeah. I'm coming back next month. All right, we're, man. we're doing that rematch. Let's go. Three-point contest. Three point con hey, man, I owe you an L. I told you. I owe you an L. <laughs> a hot, fresh L right out of the oven. I'm going to hand that to you next time. Thank you so much, guys. Right. Appreciate you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys.